Hello guys, so welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, we're going to be checking out a fan-made Crash Bandicoot game, or shall I say Coco Bandicoot game. This, my friends, is called Coco's Crystal Chaos. And I see to, I just want to give a shout out to the development team that worked on this fan-made game. It's called, they are called Soul Punch Studio. And um, someone approached me directly saying would I be able to check out their game. And I was like, yeah, definitely. I'll check out your fan-made Crash Bandicoot game. Because I'm a big fan of Crash Bandicoot. I love Crash Bandicoot. I mean, I've been brought up with it since I was a little kid. And like I said before in any of my other fan-made project videos that I've done on the channel, I'll see it as if you have any fan games up there and you would like me to check them out and make videos on them and give you feedback about them, then by all means, I'm more than happy to do that. I'd love to, like, maybe one day to have my own, like, fan-made game where I get to play as me in a video game because I see it happen so many times with, like, big YouTubers like NoahJ456 where he's played as himself in a, as a mod in Call of Duty Zombies and stuff. It's it's insane. And I, 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 I you know what I mean? I think it's a dream. I think it's any gamer's dream to be able to play as himself as a video game character. But overall, I think, I think so far with this game... I'm finding that the controls, they could be a little bit better. I would have preferred it if it was with WASD, personally. But with the key, right, with the um, with the arrows and stuff on the keyboard, it's it's doable. I swear I'm supposed, am I supposed to die from this? Like the, with the arrows and stuff and using A and everything and all that lot to be able to turn, like you change your camera angle, to, like so you can reposition yourself. I think is good, but I think it would have been better with WSD and then use the mouse to turn, personally. And then use the space bar to jump. That would have been a lot more better. That would have been my personal preference. But the controls, they're okay. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. I'm not sure with that lightning thing on the bottom if it was meant to kill you. Like, what the hell are these Cortex statues? Are they supposed to be following me? Uh, is that going to try to kill me or something? <laughs> what? What's going on? Like, where's it gone? Have I kind of like glitched it or something? Was I supposed to take this way? <laughs> I think I. I don't know. Have I? Have I? Am I cheating or something? Am I not doing this right? I feel like I've skipped like half the level. But if it says that you want to download this game for yourself and check it out for yourself, I will leave a link down below in the description, guys, where you can go ahead and check out their, out their page where you can download the game and give your feedback to the development team. Or if you've got any feedback for the developers, then by all means, you can always drop it in the comment section as well. And if they do see this video, then by all means. I'm pretty sure they'll take your feedback in, into consideration. Okay, I think I'm kind of glitching out a little bit here. Oh, great. We've got more of these statue things chasing me. <laughs> it's a Cortex army! Alright, we're getting out of here, boys, before them things start trying to chase me. Go, 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 go! Okay. Got the crystal. What the hell? <laughs> Where am I? Okay, it's like a warp room. Nice! Got like different levels and stuff lurking around. Oh, it's Crash Bandicoot's girlfriend. Okay, where the hell are you going? But yeah, other than the camera angles and stuff, guys, I, I kind of like this. I think it's pretty cool. I'm intrigued to see if like any of the other levels are available. If, the audience, if, if there is any other levels that are available and you would like to see that, then just let me know down below in the comment section because I'm not sure exactly how much content is available within this. But from what I can see, it seems like there's more levels, so... If you would like to see that, let me know down below in the comment section. 
And I just want to say thank you again to the person who hit me up with a code, well, with a code, with a link where I can download this game. And shout out to the development team, um, obviously Soul Punch Studio for you know allowing me to be able to you know download this game and make videos on it because I, I like it. You know, what I mean, it's pretty good. It needs a little bit of work to it, but I think it's pretty good. I think the main thing that I consider that needs to be worked on personally would be the controls because I feel like the controls that you got now with the arrows and everything and using A and D and stuff and all that to turn and stuff, it's it's good, but I feel like it could have been a lot more easier with WASD to move, move forward backwards and side to side, and then use the space bar to jump, and then use the mouse to turn, and if you click the, like using the left uh, mouse button, that would allow, you know, you know, to spin and stuff. I think that would have been a lot more easier, but that's just my feedback. But overall, I'm enjoying this. I think it's good, and I, I, I can't wait to see more on this. But like I said, if you want to see more, let me know, okay? If you enjoyed the video, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Turn on the post notification icon. It will notify you when it's loading new content in the nearby future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care.